guys, it's Ta. Welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate you. So today we are going to be doing my August TBR. But before we do that, we are going to see what I did last month. And I will tell you right now, last month was horrible. So last month I was supposed to read a poetry book. Forgot about it. Um, I had to read part of a duet and I read Written with Regret. Color in the title, and I read Red Queen, The Marriage of Convenience. I read The Favor. Published before 1950. I was supposed to read The Island of Adventure, but I did not. 650 pages plus. I was supposed to read Dune, but I did not. Um, my Reese Witherspoon Book Club book, which was A, Cuban's, A Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow. I read that one. And then for buzzword it was bookish words i was supposed to read crazy stupid bromance but it didn't but instead i kind of replaced it with um written with you because written is kind of a bookish word i guess because you write things i don't know that's what i was going with and then for tbr knockout water creature was supposed to read in over her head did not water on the cover i was gonna that was gonna be the island of adventure did not read it so overall not a great month but I did get a lot of reading done. But I did more mood reading than I did what I was supposed to actually read on my TBR. So, meh, is what it is. Okay, so it's time to start playing TBR Scratch Off. If you've never played it before, quick rundown. We roll these two dice to get a number on the board. We count it out. We scratch it off like a scratch off ticket. And then um, you can pick a, bump, pick a book to pick the prop. And if we roll a double, we have to add a roll and then we start off with six. So minimum of six books, maximum of however many doubles I get. So pretty simple. And if we happen to roll and hit the same spot we've already scratched, we're just going to go to the next one over. Pretty self-explanatory. Not hard. Roll number one. We got, oh God. A four, a double, right out the gate. So, okay. One, two, three, four. And this one I got is AEA Suggestion, which um, AEA is a Facebook group that I'm in. It is with the author Claire Kingsley. So I'm going to go and see... Which of her books? Because they're always uh, recommending her books. So I'm just going to see which one I'd want to start on. Okay, for this one, I chose Book Boyfriend, which is book number one in the Book Boyfriend's book trilogy. Um, and this one is about Mia, who has met the hottest guy she can ever think of. It's almost like he literally walked off of a novel's page and came into her life. And she feels like it's really weird that like he's into her because she is like your ultimate book addict and she doesn't understand like how he could be attracted to her or whatever and she's like is or am I going to get my own happily ever after or is this like all going to blow up in my face but then we have Alex on the other hand who really likes Mia and he is also hiding something which is he is a um a writer using a pen name named Lexi and little does Mia know but Lexi is her best friend you know online because she talks to the author and yeah now he's like a scared she's gonna find out so we get to see what kind of whirlwind of a journey they're gonna go on while dating and if she finds out how she finds out and what is he gonna do to this girl I'm excited all right roll number two Oh my god, we got an eight. That is another double. We're up to eight books now. So let's count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this one says takes place in the past. So I have to figure out a book that takes place in the past. Um 
probably one of the easiest thing really to do is like nonfiction, but I'm not really a nonfiction fanatic. So let me go see what I can find. So for this one, I chose The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, I think is how you say it. And this one is set in 1939 in Germany. And the little girl named Liesel, Liesel, um, she finds a book in the snow at her brother's funeral. And then she begins her love affair with books, apparently. She steals them from wherever she can get her hands on them. But then it says that um, her father hid a uh, Jewish man in their basement. And her life is literally about to... Her world's going to be opened up and closed down. So I'm excited to see what type of books she likes, where she gets them from, and what exactly goes on whenever her dad um, hides a Jewish man. So book number two, six more to go. Roll number three. Please don't be a double. Please don't be a double. It's not. It is a nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is where we are. And this one is a rom com, which it seems like the first one I picked might have fit this category too. So let's go see what rom coms I have. For this one, I chose A Not So Meat Cute by Megan Quinn. Um,. All I needed to know was that it is a modern take on Pretty Woman. I absolutely love Pretty Woman, so I feel like this is going to be super awesome. And it it is listed as a rom-com. I've read others of her books, and I like her, so I'm hoping this one is going to be just as good. Roll number four out of eight. And we got 11. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. See what we get. Oh, okay. This one says planes, trains, and automobiles. So this was a mini challenge with the 52 weekly. The reading challenge 52 prompts for a year or whatever so this is their mini challenge and basically it is a book that has transportation in it or on the cover so can't be that hard to find right so for this one i picked the dead girl in 2a by carter wilson and there is a plane right there and this one says Jake Buckingham knows the woman sitting next to him on his business flight to Denver. He just can't figure out who, how he knows her. Clara Stowe isn't in Jake's line of work and didn't go to college with him. They have nearly nothing in common apart from a deep and shared certainty that they've met before. As their airplane conversation deepens, both struggle to figure out what circumstances could have possibly brought them together. Then in a revelation that sends Jake reeling, Clara admits she's traveling to the Colorado mountains to kill herself and she disappears into the crowded airport immediately after landing. And I'm going to stop right there because we got to see what this guy's going to do. Is he going to go chase her? Is he going to stop her? I don't know. So this one, the one I picked. Roll number five. We got eight. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Eight. So. That would be one, two, three, four. We go back to the beginning. Five, six, seven, eight. We already had that one, so we go to the next one. This is where we're going to be, right there. All right, we have a sci fi romance. No clue, but we shall find something. So for this one, I'm going to pick. Press by Marissa Mayer. Um, this is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles series. The first one is Cinder. The second one, Scarlet. The first one is about Cinder, who is a awesome mechanic, and she's also a cyborg because 
if they're in New Beijing and there's humans and, and cyborgs, there's all kind of stuff. So we get to follow her journey as she gets intertwined with like the prince. And then, like I said, this is book three. So there's a lot that happened between one and three. So I'm excited. I have three and four left. I think there's only four. There might be five. Maybe four. I don't know. But I'm excited to continue it and hopefully finish it soon. All right. Roll number six. Um, this was supposed to be my final roll, but I got two bonuses already. But this will be the last or official roll, I guess. Um, the only way I can get more than eight rolls is if I hit a double now. On my bonus ones, I'm not going to count it if I get a double because I'm already in the bonus at that point. So, roll number six. And we got a six. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Mythology retelling. I think I already have one that I can use. For this one, I chose the Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. Um, a lot of people loved it. I've seen some people didn't. It just depends. So I'm excited to get into it. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's retelling of the Iliad. I think that's how you say it. I'm not 100%, but I know it's a retelling. So I'm excited to see what everybody else saw. All right, number seven. We got five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> we got poetry again. Oh, goodness. We got poetry. So, like I said last time that I got this one, I'm going to go to the library and pick something. I'm really going to do it this time because I have to bring my books back very soon. So, I'm going to like write a note on my hand that day. Poetry book. Let's go to number eight and the final one. And for this one, we have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And for this one, we got a hubby pick. So I need to go and see. What book he will pick for me. Okay, so if the angle changed, sorry, phone completely died, had to go charge it. Um, so the hubby picked Good Girl, Bad Blood by Holly Jackson. This is the second book in this series. The first one was A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And that one was about Pip, who was a senior. Um, she decided to take a look at a case that was in her town a murder case and that was going to be her senior project and she started looking at it and things didn't quite line up the way she thought they should have but then also somebody doesn't want her looking through it so she is trying to figure out like if the person that they charged is innocent or not but also she has to keep herself alive so this is the second one to that i really enjoyed the first one so i'm excited to see what the next one is and hopefully finish the whole series one day. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is pick a Reese Witherspoon book club book. Um, this is all the books that she's recommended for her book club list since the beginning. Um, I'm trying to read through them. So orange is adult and the hot pink is young adult. So let's pick one. Go with this one. Orange. Still Lives by Maria Hummel. And that was from August of 2018. So let me see what this is about. So this one is about Kim Lord. She is a avant-garde figure, feminist icon, and agent provocateur in the LA art scene. Her groundbreaking new ex ex exhibition. Jeez. 
still lives is compared of self portraits depicting herself as famous murdered women. The Black Dahlia, Chandra Levy, Nicole Brown Simpson, Simpson and many, among many others. And the works are as compelling as they are disturbing, implicating a culture that is too accustomed to violence against women. As the city's richest art patrons pour into the museum's opening night, all the staff, including editor Maggie Richter, hope the event will be enough to save the historic institution's failing, flailing finances. Except Kim never shows up to her own gala. Fear mounts as the hours and days drag on and Lord remains missing. Suspicion falls on the up-and-coming gallerist Greg, who happens to be Maggie's ex, a rogues gallery of eccentric art or world figures, could also have motive for the act. And as Maggie gets drawn into her own investigation of Lord's disappearance, she'll come to suspect all of those closest to her. Set against a culture that often fetishizes violence, Still Lives is a page-turning exodus in the art world's hall of mirrors and one woman's journey into the belly of an industry flooded with money and secrets. Okay, so this one seems pretty interesting. I'm excited. So, um, the only other thing we need to talk about is buzzword, which this month buzzword is item or object. And that can mean an item or object on a book. So for that, I have chosen um, the book thief. Book is an item, so that one fits for that. And then for my TBR knockout, um, one of them is to buddy read a book. So me and my friend, we're going to be reading The Oceanography of the Moon by Lindy Vanderhoff. And this is a Once Upon a Book Club um, book box. So we're going to be unboxing. I'm so excited. Um, Fate brought them together. Will their past tear them apart? And then the other one for TBR Knockout was read a nonfiction. So for that one, I chose Mary Poppins. She wrote The Life of P.L. Travers by Valerie Lawson. And this one on the back says biography and autobiography. So, um, this is going to tell us all about P.L. Travers, what she did, um, where Mary Poppins came from, etc. So, I'm pretty excited because I absolutely love Mary Poppins. So, we're finally going to get it read. All right. So, we have The Book Thief, The Oceanography of the Moon, Dead Girl in 2A, The Song of Achilles, Mary Poppins, She Wrote. A not so um, meet cute book boyfriend and still lives, plus the poetry book that I'm going to get from the library. So we got, uh, oh, oh, and, and I forgot about her. We have her. So we've got a good bit of reading to do. Hopefully, August goes better than July did because. Like, I read a lot, but, again, it wasn't off the TBR. It was more mood reading than anything. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.